Hello there everyone. Uh, we got some more star forts here from the Netherlands. Hope everyone's had a good day. Mine's certainly getting to me with the heat. It's gonna be ice. Okay, so we've got some really, really intricate um, forts here in the Netherlands. We got Narodine Star Fort. Newton Fortress and here we have another star fort design city with water protecting the city this one here And the way the buildings are laid out is just unique, it's unreal. So the whole city of Amsterdam is another citadel like Warsaw. So it's not too hard to see. So you can see here it runs all the way up around here. Like this using canals and locks as a system and come back in for this side as well so this whole area and then it, it has an outer defense line as well so it's got the forts all the way around Even here, look at the design here. I've seen this design a few times. We've got a castle here, once again protected by a moat. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I'm still finding some that aren't even on Wikipedia just by going over the Google Maps. I'm finding a few. Another Citadel, Southport City. One here, one on there, another one there. You can see it looks like it's built up real fun as well. No, another one, another one, another one. They're all the same design. The ones that all the outer cities, another star fort city. So we have a, one in the middle protected by several in the outer outskirts of it. Another star fort city here. Protected by the border of the moat. Here we have another Starfort city. The bastions going out.
Both here I find very strange. Not sure what what it was. Here is another Starfort City. This region also looks like it's a citadel that's um, protected with little forts all the way around it. Another Starfort City. Here we got Fort Butain. Beautiful, intricate design. Very old. Protected by the canals. This region I found really interesting. There's a star fort here, a star fort here, and the citadel. Connected by a canal system. Here we got more town citadels protected by water. Look at the beautiful flowers. Got another star fort here. Ignore my horrible spelling, sorry. Fingers type too fast. And I just want to show you along here and the way this is cut out on the canal is very interesting. We got another Star Fort Citadel here. I'm raising sign there. Get another one here. Things seem to line up. Like a citadel protected by water. Still put there. One here. One here, here, here. And there's a couple of mist. Wow. One layer of mist. One layer of mist. Here we have another Starfort City Citadel. So many of these. Interesting place as well. Looks like the side of an old one. Uh, 1672, this one was built. This one they call it the Albanian Roman, Roman Fort. It's this one here. It would have had water going around it the whole time, years ago.
just the canals here I thought was interesting is the way they've cut out. We've got some more. This looks weird built up in here as well. Looks like it was sort of a bit bigger, but there's another one here that's covered. And this one looks like a ring fork. We've got another one here. As well as another one here. These two are very close together for the size that they are. Here we got another stuff for here. I wonder if the people that are there now know what these places actually are. Looks like another citadel sort of set up. Another one. This, the gravel line was used in World War II as a defence. This was another interesting place I wanted to share. This one looks like it's turned into a golf course now. And these here, what were these from? This one looks like it's a ruins. Look at the way the canal's been built here and here. All the way. We got another one here. And this over here I find really, really interesting. Looks like it's got more that's been covered by the trees. Just really interesting places. Here's another one. And this one, I'm not sure if it was a castle or a citadel style fort, I'm not sure. There's a lot that don't have any information that I could find in Wikipedia. Fort de Rue. You can see this one is massive, it's a lot bigger. Nature's holding back. Okay, so that's pretty much most of them.
Okay. Okay, so as we know, my language other than English is pretty bad, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name here. This fort is one of 42 forts in the defence line of Amsterdam. Um, it's a World Heritage Site. It's located in a small town. I think it's Vif... If, do you feel Usen? I'm saying it wrong. Um, on the ring of that is a canal. So it's on the canal. The main fort is currently maintained by a charitable foundation which releases the space for 12 artist studios and a restaurant. The fort's situated on a hill surrounded by a moat, um, accessible during open hours. Built in 1889 to 1890, with sand taken from the evacuations of a new sludge gate complex. Um, American Venture Bomber crashed into the moat. South of the fort is also along the Ring of Art. It is the first fort position of the fort, currently one part of Golf Course. A bit further south is yet another fort position of fort. Corius, Corius, something. Go down. Fort along the Ham is a fort that is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Stelling Van Amsterdam. It's located along the railway from Ukiz to Kermain E. The earthen walls date back. From 1896, the fort itself was finished in 1903. Fort was only used briefly during the First World War. Fort near the Kual is a fort that is part of the Stelling Van Amsterdam. It's located in the village of the Kual. It's one of the four forts that form the line Kusten Utom. The west of the fort is Fort. I can't say it, and there's no page for it to exist, that's why. I said I'm finding forts that are on the map, but uh, there's no information about them. Most of them are covered up with earth and grass, you can barely see them. Um, to these you find this one and this one. The fort was first built in 1890. The main building consists of 18 rooms. The house of the person who made the fort when there were no troops is also still there. Some of the other buildings have been converted into houses. Lemon Chance. Lemon Chance refers to the former float fort located in Leiden along the Violet. Um, today, um, the railway station is located there. According to local legend, a large Spanish cooking pot filled with hot spot was found there on the 3rd of October 1574 by Cornelius Jefferson. After the Spanish forces fled out at the conclusion of the siege of Lenden, later historians concluded that this pot, which is today is in the collection of the museum, was actually found by Gisbert Cornelius. Okay. So we've got Starfort City, another Starfort City, another Starfort City, 1574. So many. And see, look, The Hague is also a um, citadel as well. Muden Fortress or Mouse Fort is a Dutch fort in Muden. The fort is part of the Stelling Van Amsterdam UNESCO World Heritage Site. It consists of a set of four forts around the city of Amsterdam. The fort is made of masonry covered with sand on the east side. It has nine castle mates, of which two artillery casemates with three embrasures each are the most important. From here the bridges, dike, the channels could be attacked. The fort also has the crew quarters, the room for the guard, the kitchen, the room for officers, the rooms for food, gunpowder and the guns.
Um, the Netherlands Fortress Museum is located in the city of Nadan, which is where that big one, I, the first one I showed you, in the Netherlands Museum was established in 1955, in the turf port Bastion, one of six bastions that gave the wall city its distinctive star shape. During World War II, Allied bombers returning to Great Britain from bombing missions used it as a marker. The fortifications themselves, including the Bastion state to the period of 1575-1585 when Philip II of Spain ordered them constructed. Several exhibits. The fort is open most uh, 10 to 5 daily, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, the museum boat conducts, conducts tours of the city moat. Bastion has an arrowhead shape with five points. The walls consist of two meters of layers of rock. Casemates built into the city walls near the narrow base of the arrowhead contain guns that permitted the defenders to fire along the main moat. In an area by the lower right hand flank of the Bastion, there is gunpowder testing pole, which the gunners in the 17th 18th century used to test the quality of the gunpowder they received. To the right side of the Bastion, there is a water postern next to the bastion's power room. Near the tip of the bastion there is a mortar casemate with quarters for the crews and a replica 29cm mortar. So the bastion's power room. Interesting. Victorian land, sorry for saying this wrong, Lighthouse Island, it is a small island in Netherlands just off the coast of Drumville Dam. The island's main function is a base for the lighthouse. The military fort on the island was abandoned in the 1930s. The island's lighthouse had been in operation since 1700. It is named for the opposite port of the mark, mainland. The first lighthouse was a square stone building. In 1809 the island was equipped with a military post and which in 1844 was expanded to a real fort, which in 1883 became part of the Stelling Van Amsterdam. The lighthouse was replaced with a cast iron construction in 1893 which is still standing. At the end of the 19th century a bomb proof building and the artillery battery were built on the island but it gives five guns removed to the handler. In 1904-1905 it was delisted as a stronghold. The last lot of soldiers left long before nightfall. In 1981 the island was uh, listed as a Reichsstück monument, a national heritage site of the Netherlands. Fox signal was deactivated in 2001. The light was extinguished in 2003 when Alaska Lighthouse Gatekeeper Recon retired. Bad May Wishkan Chant, a uh, village with a population of 1,510, located in the northeastern of the Netherlands on the border with Germany. It means new fortification. It was a separate uh, multi until 1900. Um, not much to say. I'm finding a lot of Forts have no information, so this is a layout of the city. I think I've shown this image on Google Earth before. Very old buildings. I just wanted to share this one on the four forts of the Frisian waterline around 1675. So, all detailed drawings on the above.
Bet you they had below ones as well. Interesting that you can still see it. Something like that. Udesh Chans, uh, fortification, initially named Bellingswold Chans, meaning scone of Bellingwood. A scone is a small protective fortification such as an earthwork, often placed on a mound or as a defensive work for artillery. It was used primarily in Northern Europe from the late Middle Ages until the 19th century. It was common during the English Civil War. So that's another name for the star forms. It was renamed Wolfson, meaning old, old scone. Okay. Um, built new one, 1628. In 1593, during the 80 Years' War, the fortification was built to strengthen the strategically important town connecting the river and the fortification was used for military purposes until 1814. In 1980, some of the walls, canals and bastions were restored. In 1991, the fortification became a state protected village. And this is one I haven't shown yet. I missed it before. So it's certainly a beautiful looking place. Wow. It's been renovated a lot since the 1980s. There's even water starting to fill back up in the moats. Beautiful. Seems the top part up here is missing. It's with their plane of the trees. Interesting. We've got another one here. It's strange. So I've just come across another Star Fort City with very interesting, intricate design of its city. It helps seeing when I can move it. 